Hi, this is Darren Wilson, and welcome to another edition of Monday's Moment of Fruit. Now, recently, my family and I went to the homecoming celebration of Mr. Casey Carty. And the reason he was being celebrated is because he is a member of the under-19 West Indies cricket team and they recently won the Cricket World Cup Championship and Casey Carthy was named the man of the match. Now, while I was at the homecoming celebration in the midst of all the festivities and the atmosphere and seeing him come out and seeing all, all, all of the excitement surrounding um, his return, I extracted three principles or lessons, if you will, about success, um, achieving your dreams, winning, uh, even fruit bearing, that I want to share with you today. And those lessons are as follows. Lesson number one, only winners get recognized. Now, the truth of the matter is, I didn't know who Casey Carthy was until he won. And winning does two things. It introduces who you are, and it introduces your fruit to the world. So you have to, to understand or decide, you know, what it is you want to win at in life. Because winning puts you on a platform that gives you the ability to inspire people. And that inspiration or that influence or that impact comes when they recognize you and they recognize your fruit. And you only get recognized when you win. So that's lesson number one. Only winners get recognized. Lesson number two. When you win, your supporters and your haters emerge at the same time. Going to my Facebook timeline, I would see posts of persons that uh, supported Casey Carty. And, and I would also see posts of persons that indirectly hated on Mr. Casey Carty. And this is not just something that is unique to him, but it's across the board. You see, when you win, not everybody will be attracted to the fruit that they see. Because remember, when you win, that is when your fruit is being introduced. So not everybody is going to favor that. So a good suggestion would be to not to focus too heavily on those that don't like the fruit that they see and just continue to produce the fruit for the persons who are your supporters because you will always inspire them no matter what because they will always be your supporters so that's lesson number two your haters and your supporters emerge at the same time now Lesson number three, opportunity only favors the prepared. Casey Carty, I am sure, prepared immensely for this opportunity. Now, what are some of the ways he prepared? He there was diligent in practice. I, um, he had a love for the sport, and that love, that passion, gave him the drive to, to, to continuously be prepared. Um, he, he had to be coachable. All of those are, are stages in preparation that prepares you for when the opportunity arrives. So, what about you? You know, what are some areas that you know that you need to prepare for? What are some things that, what are some dreams, what are some goals, what are some plans um, that, that, that you have? What are some things you want to win at but you know you need to prepare for so that when the opportunity shows up, you will be ready for it. So those are the three lessons that I want to leave you with today. Lesson number one, just to recap, only winners get recognized. Lesson number two, your supporters and haters emerge at the same time when you win. And lesson number three, opportunity only favors those who are prepared for it. Okay? So, thank you for watching. This has been today's Moment of Fruit. And don't forget, we have our God Fruit Workshop that's coming up uh, in April. Uh, the link to register is in the description. So, click on it and register for the God Fruit Workshop. Uh, the, all the information is there on the link. 
um, when you register, you're going to get additional information on, 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 on the details of the workshop. So, you know, just click on the link and, and register. And you, we're going to have a great time at the workshop. All right? Thanks for watching. See you next week.